bless you, God. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. Hallelujah. We glorify you, God. We lift you up tonight, God. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up, God. We praise your name on tonight, God. Oh, God, we reverence you right now. Father God. Oh God, we are in awe of you, Lord. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the great I am. You are ready to be praised, God. We just bless you on tonight, God. We bless you. We bless you, God. Oh God, we bow down and we worship you, Lord God. You are the head of our life, Father God. You are the soul source, Father God. You are the apple of our eye and our marriage heart desire, God. We bless your name, Father God. You are the one, Father God, who takes residence in the center of our heart, Lord God. You are the one who's the head of our life, Father God. You are our honor, our, our Lord. Oh God, we bless you tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh God, we exalt your name on tonight, Father God. You mean eating and everything to us, Father God. We adore you, God. We praise your name, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh God, you are the source, source. You are everything that we need you to be and so much, Lord God. Oh Lord, we bless your name tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, Lord God. Oh, God, we just want to tell you thank you on tonight, Father God. Thank you on tonight, Father God, for being all that we need you to be in so much more, Lord God. We thank you on tonight, Father God, for allowing us to see one more day, Father God. You gave us another day, another chance, Father God. A fresh new start, a clean slate, Father God, to begin again and get it right, Lord God. That we can be pleased in your sight, Lord. We just want to tell you thank you on today, Father God, because we know that somebody else did not have the privilege or the honor, Father God, of waking up on this morning. They may not have had that first Brother, they last broke on today, Father God. They may not have been able to have eyes, Father God, to see and ears to hear, Father God. They may not have been that right set of mind, Father God, but you gave them, us the privilege to do so, Father God. And for that, we just want to tell you thank you, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we want to tell you thank you on tonight, Father God, because you kept us all through the day, Father God. With no accidents, no incidents, Father God. You dispatched your angels on our behalf, Father God. You allowed them to set on guard and stand on post, Lord God. And you did not let any hurt, harm, or danger come my way, Lord God. You kept us Safe and sound, Father God. You covered our children as they went out to play, Father God. You allowed our loved ones to return back home from safe and sound, Father God. We know that it's not a guarantee, Lord God. So we thank you on today, Father God, that we had the privilege of your pledge, Father God, to return back home safe and sound, Lord God. Oh God, I want to tell you thank you for the way that you keep us, Lord God. That we slept on last night, God, there were no robbers or any murders, Lord God. You even allowed the death angels to pass over us. So we want to tell you thank you, Lord God. We thank you on tonight, Father God, because we had sweet peace of sleep on last night, Father God. You were ready to take on today, Lord. We want to say a thank you, Lord God. There's so many blessings that you bestow upon us, Father God. So much unmarried faith that you give us each and every day, God. And on today, we want to express our gratitude and appreciation because you do so much, Lord God. Oh God, before we go forth to ask you for anything, Father God, or start giving you our request, Lord God, we just want to simply tell you thank you, Lord God. We want to bask in your presence, God, and feel your warm embrace. We want to lay at your feet, God, because there's no other place that we're ready to be, Father God. And laying at your feet, Fast in your presence, God, in that safe place, in your arms, God, that safe in that safe place in you, God. We know that nothing else can dwell the Lord, God. No matter what has gone on within our day, Father God, we know we are wrapped up and caught up in you, Father God. None of that other stuff matters, Lord God. So right now, God, we just want to focus on you, Lord God. We want to give you our full and undivided attention, Lord God. We're not going to be distracted, Father God. We're not going to worry about what happened on today, Father God, or who said something, or who did something, or what didn't happen, or what didn't. Lord God. We're going to focus on you, Lord God. So right now, Father God, we're going to surrender all to you, Lord God. We're going to give you every problem, worry, concern, or any situation, circumstance, Lord God. We're going to lay it at your feet, Father God, and put it in your hands. Because your hands are the best hands to put it in, God. We're going to put it in under our feet, Lord God. Because we know, Father God, we lay it at your feet and put it under our feet, God. We're not allowing that thing to be exalted higher than you, God. So right now, God, we're lifting you up, Father God. We're lifting you up right now, Father God, above every and all things that's going on within our life, Father God. No matter what is pertaining to what we're starting to God, we're lifting you up right now, God, because we know that you are bigger, Father God. We know that you are more powerful, Father God. We know that you're one, Father God, who holds all in your hand, God. You are the great creator, Lord God. So right now, God, we're releasing our, we're surrendering our, Father God. We're getting rid of, Father God, that problem and that worry, Father God. That heart aching, that heartbreak, Father God. That discrepancy in the marriage, Lord God. That issue on the job, Lord God. Oh God, we're giving it all to you right now, God. Whether it be a financial need, Father God, a transportation need, or a housing need, God. Oh God, we're laying it all at your feet, Father God. Any and everything, Lord God, that is not in alliance with what you have, a, what you are preordained and predestined according to your will in our life, Father God. 
is not lined up, Lord God. We're giving it all to you right now, Father God, because we only want to be in a sacred and a safe place with you, Father God. We don't want to be distracted by anything, Father God. We want to be able to give you our best praise and worship, Father God, because you give us your very best each and every day, Father God. So as we come before you right now, God, we're releasing it all to you, Lord God, because we want to give you our best praise, God, because you are so worthy, God. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Father God, and you are greatly to be praised, Lord God. Go, God, you have been better to us than we have been to ourselves, Lord God, and we just want to bless your name on today, Father God. Even in the midst of what we're going through and experience, God, we still want to bless you, Lord God, and let you know that we still think that you are good, Lord God. We know that you are awesome and you are magnificent, Father God, so it does not matter, Father God. In the midst of it all, Lord God, we are praising you, God. We are blessing you and lifting you up, Father God, because we know that these things are not bigger than you, Lord God. You are the one, Father God, who's mighty and strong, Lord God. We know that our problems are less than nothing, Father God. You said it just a drop in a bucket that don't even exist, Lord God. So right now, God, we just want to focus on you, Lord God, and give you our all, Lord God, because you deserve it all, Lord God. You deserve our very best, Lord God. And that's what we want to do, God. We want to give it to you, Lord God. We owe it to you anyway, Father God, but we want to willingly give it to you, Father God. So we bless you right now, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, God. Oh, God, you are so glorious. You are so marvelous, God. You are truly one of a kind, Lord, and there's nothing like you are letting out this earth, God, and we praise your name tonight, God. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord God. You mean so much to us, Lord God. And that's what we want to let you know first and foremost on tonight, God, that and we love you, God. We love you. We love you. We love you, God. We appreciate you, God. You do so much for us, oh God. We cannot even keep count of all the wonderful things that you have done, oh God. So on tonight, we just want to tell you thank you for everything, God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, Father God, for not only the good, but as well as the bad, Father God. For the happy and the sad, God. For the expected and the unexpected, Father God. The ups and the downs, God. The knowns and the unknowns, God. We thank you for all of it, Father God. Every experience and every encounter, Father God. Even what we're going through right now, God, we thank you for it all, oh God, because you only allow this thing to happen in our lives because you want to make us better than we used to be, Father God. You need to mold us to shape us, oh God. You need some things to come out of us, oh God. So wherever we are right now, oh God, we thank you, oh God, because you know what's best for us, oh God. And where we are in this moment and season and time, oh God, is not necessary, oh God. It's intentionally purpose for your purpose, God, is all part of your grand master plan, oh God. So in the midst of the moment of time that we are in, whatever season that we are experiencing, Father God, whatever that we are going through, oh God, we're going to bless you and praise you through this thing, Lord God. We're going to still give you our all, Father God, because we know that you have great plans for us, Lord God, that are good and not of evil, Lord God. You haven't expected any for us, Lord God. You already spoken some things over our lives, Father God. We stand on your word because we know that your word is true, Father God. We know that it does not return good, Father God. You are a God that does not lie and you cannot die. So on tonight, God, we stand on your word, God. We're holding on to that solid rock in you, Father God, and allowing you to be the foundation that we're building our lives on, Father God. Because we know, Father God, that you are at the foundation of it all, Lord God. We have some solidity, Father God, that things won't easily crumble, Father God. And even when things come our way, Father God, we won't wave to and fro, Lord God. But we'll stay still, Father God, and simply just trust you, Lord God. So right now, God, we just want to praise you and bless you right now, God. Oh, God, you are so worthy, Lord. You are worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, God. So right now, God, we give you our best praise and worship, Lord God, to make more room for you to enter in, Lord God. We ask that you would take residence on the inside of us, Lord God. Oh God, we ask that you would dwell here, Lord God. We are your temples, Lord God. And if there be any unclean things on the inside of us, God, I ask that you would take it all the way, God, until there's nothing left with you, God, because we don't want to hold on to it anymore, Lord God. We don't want any of these things to fester, Lord God. We don't want any of these seeds to continue to dwell on the side of our hearts that's not like you, Lord God. It causes our hearts to have black spots and hardness, Lord God. Cause us to be bitter and have unforgiveness, Father God. Coming from a place of hatred, Lord God, and grudging, Lord God. Oh God, we want to release all these things to you, God, because we want to make more room for you to enter in, Lord God. Because we need you to dwell on the inside of us, God. We need your spirit, God. We are nothing without you, Lord God. So we stand before you right now, God, and ask that you would take it all the way down to this love and left with you, God. Oh God, we know that when you take it away, Father God, when you do it, God, You'll need no rest, Lord God. You'll need no particles, Lord God. But we'll have a brand new, clean heart, Lord God. So God, I ask right now to purify our hearts, Lord God. Our hearts are open up to you right now, Lord God. We are successful to you, God. We stand before you right now, God, naked, unafraid, and unashamed, God, not holding anything back, Father God, because you know what's there anyway, Father God. So we come before you tonight, God, willingly, Lord, allowing these things to be exposed, Lord God, that you may mend our hearts, Lord God. 
God, that you may heal us, Lord God, that you may perfect that thing on the side of us that concerns us, Lord God, that you can make us sober, Lord God. Because we know, Father God, you only want to make us, not break us, Lord God. So even in the midst of, Father God, we happen to be in a broken place, Lord God. Lord, separate those things that need to be separated, Father God. That we will obtain those characteristics that you want us to have, Father God. That we'll be all who you have called for us to be, Father God. That we'll become the men and women of God that you have preordained and predestined for us to be, God. Oh God, we are open to you right now, Lord God. Because we want to be better than we used to be, Father God. We want to reach that place in you, Lord God. We want to get to that destination, Father God, that you have preordained and predestined for us, Lord God. And we know that we cannot get there, Father God. These things are inside of us, God. We're harboring these things, Lord God. We're in the place of being stuck, Father God. We're not allowing you to be God within our lives, Lord God. So on tonight, God, we welcome you, Lord God. That you can be who you need to be for us, Lord God. That we'll not be who we are, Lord God. But we'll allow you to be God for us, Lord God. Oh God, we're moving out of your way, Lord God. Because we know there's no other way, Lord God. We know that you have the grand master plan, Lord God. And we open up our hearts to accept and receive your plan, Lord God. Because your plan is better than ours, Lord oh God. It's on a grand master scale, Lord God. It's something that we have not ever seen or imagined, Lord God. We cannot even think of the great things that you have in store because your ways are not our ways. Your thoughts are not our thoughts, Lord God. So we open up our hearts to accept and receive on tonight, Father God. Whatever it is that you have for us, Lord God, whether it be correction or direction, Father God, whether it be rebuke or chastise, Lord God, whether it be something good or something bad, Father God, known or unknown, expected or unexpected, Lord God, our hearts are open to accept and receive, Father God. That we may be able to obtain all that you have for us, oh God. That we may grow, flourish, and thrive in you more, more, Father God. That we may mature in you even more, Lord oh God. Spiritual as well as natural, oh God. Oh God, we'll open up to you on tonight, God. That we need you to outpour your spirit, Lord oh God. We need you to outpour your love, God. Oh Lord, we need the more of you, Father God. Because without you, Lord oh God, we cannot make it through, Lord oh God. Oh Lord, we need you, God. We need you, Father God, in more ways than one, Father God. But we know, Father God, even in the midst that we're going through, Father God, you have been so good to us in so many ways, Lord God. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you on tonight, Father God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God. For all the doors that you have opened, Lord God. For all the ways that you have made, Lord God. For the healing in our bodies, Lord God. For the songs in our mind, Lord. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you on tonight, Father God. Even in the midst of what we're going through and experience, God, you are still wonderful, God. You are still amazing, Lord God. You still show up and show out on our behalf, Father God. You still show us so much favor, God. So much grace and mercy, God. We don't deserve it. We cannot earn it, Lord God. But you give it to us in a bunch each and every day renewed, Lord God. We just want to tell you thank you on tonight, God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you on tonight for working behind the scenes on our behalf, Father God. Those unknown things that you do, Father God, in the wee hours of the night, Father God. We wake up the next day, Father God, and you did that thing just for us, Lord. We want to tell you thank you on tonight, Father God. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Father God, for allowing some things to be reconciled and reconstructed within our lives, God. For being repositioned, Father God. For being removed and replaced, Lord God. Oh God, we want to take a thank you, Lord God. Oh God, you are so amazing for doing those things just for us, Lord God. Because you know where you want us to go, Father God. You know how you want us to get there, Father God. You don't want anything to hinder us. Not even our own self, God. So we thank you, Father God, we are hindering to ourselves. Lord God, that you don't allow us, Father God, to allow us to be a blockage to ourselves, Lord. Oh God, we just want to tell you thank you on tonight, God. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord God. And as we look back and reflect over our lives, Father God, there's so many areas that you showed up and showed out, Father God. So many things that you did, Father God. We didn't know how we were going to get it done, Father God, but you did it just for us, Lord God. And we just want to tell you thank you, Lord, on tonight, God. Oh God, we thank you not only for what you do for us, God, but what you do for our families and our loved ones, Lord God. And our children's lives, God. And our spouses' lives, God. Oh Lord, we just want to tell you thank you on tonight. You have been so good to us, Lord God. And we want to stand before you on tonight, Father God. We want to shout it from the mountaintops, mountaintops, Father God. From the depths of our hearts and the peace of our soul, Lord God. We want to let you know, Father God, that you have been so amazing to us, Lord God. You are so wonderful, Lord God. And we know, Father God, there's nobody else like you, Lord God. Nobody can compare to you, Lord God. Nobody is equal to you, Lord God. Oh God, we bless your name on tonight, God. Oh God, you are so glorious, Lord. You are so marvelous, God. We are in all in you, Lord God. Oh God, you are the great I am. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end, the author and the finish, Lord God. You are the one who writes our story, Father God. You know the climax, Lord God. You know the low points and the high points, God. Oh God, you are so amazing to us, Lord God. You even know what we gotta go through, Father God. That's why we simply can just trust you, Father God, because we know, Lord God, that you have our best interest at hand, Father God. You don't want any 
anything to harm us or hurt us, Lord God. And even when that thing happens to us, Father God, it was not in your plan, Lord God. You still allow that thing, Father God, to turn out for our good, Lord God. You still use that thing, Father God, for your glory, Lord God. For our story, Lord God. For our testimony, Lord God. But Lord, we want to tell you thank you for allowing us tonight, God. You are so amazing to us, Lord. You are amazing, God. So as we stand before you on tonight, Father God, and give you all the thanks on tonight, God. You deserve that and so much more, Lord God. But Father God, we cannot repay you for all that you have done. And so the least that we can do is give you all of our thanks, God. All of our praise, God. All of our worship, God. The best that we have, Father God, and not allow anything to be exalted higher than you, God. We just want to bless you on tonight, God. We bless you, we bless you. Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking on tonight that you will touch your people from the crown of their head and those their feet, Father God. And they will remember, Father God, how good you have been to them, Lord God. And they will confess and attest, Lord God, that you have better than good, been better than good to them, Father God. Even the midst of what they're going through, Father God. Lord, touch your people on tonight, Father God. Let them not feel like they're overwhelmed and too much is on their plate, Lord God. Let them know, Father God, that you have this thing handled, Lord God. They simply just trust you and acknowledge you in all their ways, Lord God. Oh God, touch your people on tonight, Father God. When they see a way and they don't know how it's going to be made, Lord God, let them know that you are a way maker. When they can't see a way, God. Let them know on tonight, Father God, the things, Father God, they don't even know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, Lord God. You'll create some things, Father God. You'll open some doors, Lord God. You'll put them on somebody else's mind, Father God. You'll allow somebody to simply walk past them, Father God, and help them with that thing. Whatever it is, Lord God, we know that you are able, God. You are the great I am, Lord. Oh God, we bless you on tonight, God. You do so much for us, God. And we are marveled by you, Lord God. You never cease to amaze us, Lord God. And that's why we bless you, Lord. That's why we praise you, God. That's why we cannot thank you enough, God, for all that you have done for us, God. You do so much for us, God. And nobody else can do for us what you do, Father God. Nobody has done for us as much as you have done, Lord God. Nobody will do for us what you do, Father God. No matter who comes to our lives, Lord God. There will be nobody who can compare to you. You are the greatest of all time, Lord God. We can search high, we can search low, Father God. All across this nation, this land, we'll find none that can compare to you, God. You are the creator of it all, Lord God. And we acknowledge you in that on tonight, Lord God. So right now, Father God, I'm asking you, Lord, to forgive us for our sins, Lord God, knowingly and unknowingly, Father God. And we have done anything, Father God, that caused us to not be pleasing your sight, Lord God. We're asking that you will please forgive us on tonight, Father God. That you will help us to turn on tonight, Father God. That we we'll have a heart of repentance and remorse, Lord God. And we'll allow you to come in and purify our hearts, Lord God, because it's the hearts that you look at on tonight, God. So cleanse and wash our hearts on tonight, Father God. Oh God, we want you to be able to dwell on it inside of us, Lord God. So Lord, continue to cleanse our temples, Lord God. Continue to give us clean hands, Lord God. Clean thoughts and clean minds on tonight, Father God. Oh God, I ask for tonight that you continue to order our foot and direct our path, Father God. Continue to be our shepherd and we'll be your sheep, Lord God. Listen to your voice and no other voice, Lord God. So if by chance, Lord God, your people's heads are filled with other voices that are not yours, God, I'm asking that you would drown them out and you will block them out, Lord God. I'm asking that you will court their ears on tonight, Father God. They will hear no voice and follow no other voice but yours, Lord God. Oh God, touch the minds of your people on tonight, Lord God. And let them only hear what you have to say, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking that you will touch your people across this nation, Father God. North, South, East, and West, Lord. Every man, every woman, every child, every boy, Father God. Every age group and every ethnicity, Lord God, I'm asking that you will touch them on tonight, Father God. Touch our loved ones on tonight, loved ones on tonight, Father God. God, who will be suffering from a loss, Lord God. Wrap your arms around that family on tonight, Father God. Remove any grief and any sadness, Lord God, any loneliness and any depression, Father God, any anger, Father God, any not understanding and confusion, Lord God. A man's go tonight that you're giving peace that surpasses all understanding, even in the midst of the chaos, Lord God. Wrap your arms around them on tonight, Lord God. Oh God, touch our loved ones on tonight, Father God, who may be. It discrepancies with one another, Lord God. I'm asking God that you allow the families to reconcile, Father God. I'm asking on tonight, Father God, that you allow forgiveness and love, Father God, to draw them together on tonight, Father God. They will not allow those things to keep them from coming together, Father God. Lord, you are God or you. Into, you are a family oriented God, Lord God. You do not desire to see us separated, Lord God. So bring your people together, Father God. Not just in the families and the relationship, God, but all across this nation, God, that we may continue to build up your kingdom and turn down the enemy's camp, Lord God. So touch your people on tonight, Father God. From the top of the government, Father God, all the way down to the courtroom system, Father God. And even go into the jails, Lord God. Oh God, touch on tonight, Father God. Put it on somebody's heart to minister to their stalemate on tonight, Father God. Put it on the heart, Father God. On the guard, Lord God, to share your word on tonight, Father God. Lord, do a new things in the prison on tonight, Father God. Because 
I know, Lord God, you can go anywhere. You can do anything, anywhere, God. So let a new thing happen on tonight, Lord God. I'm asking on tonight, Father God, that you continue to touch the NICUs and the ICUs, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to touch the labor and delivery, Lord God. Continue to go on the sick organs, Lord God. Those war those wards and units, Father God, that are in isolation, Lord God. We know that you can go in there, Father God. Let your spirit roam on tonight, Lord God. Oh God, I'm asking on tonight that you continue to touch the nursing homes, Lord God. That you continue, Lord God, to touch the foster homes, Lord God. That you continue. Lord God, to touch their home that's having no abusive things going on, Father God. And that you will let them be in a place of protection on tonight, Father God. Touch their abusive hand on tonight, Father God. They will not swing it again, Father God. Touch the mouth of that person on tonight, Father God, who uses their words to hurt somebody, Lord God. They will not allow another word to come out, Lord God. Oh God, I ask that you will touch on tonight, Father God. That we'll have more respect for one another, Lord God. That we, Father God, will not turn down our nose at each other, Father God. Point the finger back to him because we're all together trying to get it together. None of us have room to talk about anybody or what anybody else is doing because all sin is sin. No sin is greater than the other, Lord God. You don't like any of it, Lord. So touch your people on tonight, God. That we may be help us one to another, Father God. That we may stand in the gap and pray for another, Lord God. That we may, may walk hand in hand, Father God, and help each other to get through these things that we're going through, Father God, because we know there's more power in numbers, Lord God. So on tonight, God, let your spirit rain down on us on tonight, Father God. Lord, saturate the atmosphere. Father God, and consume this presence, this space that we are in right now, God. Oh Lord, we welcome you on tonight, oh God. We don't want to be anywhere else, Father God, but wrapped up and caught up in you, Father God. So as you see about your people on tonight, Father God, we just want to be wrapped up in your presence and your warm embrace, Father God. We want to hear the sound of your voice, Father God, that sweet smell of you, Lord God. That's what we want to experience on tonight, Lord God. So on tonight, God, we ask that you'll meet us here on tonight, Lord God. And any, everybody else, Lord God, who may be coming on the way, Lord God, meet them at the door, Father God. And let your spirit, Father God, touch them, Lord God. Move in the mighty way on tonight, Father God. Whatever it is you have in store for us, Lord God, meet us at this Tuesday, teach Lord God. And let your spirit, Father God, move through this place, Lord God, that we'll be all on one accord and in unison, Father God. Whatever you have preordained and predestined for us on tonight, Lord God, let the hearts be prepared to receive, Lord God. And we thank you for what you have in store for us, God. The many opportunities you have for us to embrace the freedom in you, Lord. We just want to tell you thank you on tonight, Father God, because there's no greater freedom than freedom in you, Lord God. And we thank you for the ultimate sacrifice that you made for us, God. When you sent your only son to die on the cross, Lord God, and shed his blood for us, Lord. Oh God, we are so grateful that you had that much love and compassion for us, Lord. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that now we're able to stand before you, Father God, and have that one-on-one -on -one time with you to be able to commune with you, Father God. We don't have to go through anybody else, God, but we can come before you ourselves, Lord God, and stand before you and say whatever it is that we need to say, God. We thank you, Lord, that you listen to us, God, that you never turn your back on us, Lord God, that you are so loyal and faithful to us, Lord God. Even when we're not loyal and faithful to you, God, we thank you that you're God that never changes. You're always the same, God. We thank you, Father God, that you don't have favors, Lord God. You have no respect for person, God. Oh, Lord. We just want to tell you thank you on tonight, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we stand here on tonight, God. Our hearts to be open to receive your love. Because we need more of your love on tonight, Father God. To complete this journey of life that we're going on, Lord God. We are nothing without you, God. And we just want to bless your name, Lord. We bless you, God. Oh God, I'm asking you tonight as we gather together, Lord God, that you allow us to come together and commune, Father God, whatever it is that you will to take place on tonight, God, let it be done, Lord God. Lord, I ask that you'll take every prayer on the prayer wall, Father God, every prayer on the altar in the altar box, Lord God, every prayer inside of our hearts, Lord God, and I was so kind of thinking, Father God, the prayers that are in the moans, the groans, the screams, and the tears, God, and even in the signs, Lord God, you can translate all of that, Lord. So I'm asking you tonight that you will and they answer the prayers, oh God. And they will come from a pure and sincere place inside of our hearts, oh God. And I was so kind of thinking, Father God. It will lead to a place, Father God, of righteousness, oh God. With no hidden bones, no hidden just God, no hidden intentions, oh God. And consider the prayers, oh God. Oh Lord, continue to allow your people to stand on guard and stand on post and watch as well as pray, Father God. And that they will not allow the enemy any room to enter in, God. Let your people stay fully armored on, Lord. Let them not leave off a piece of equipment, Father God, because we know the enemy's walking to and from doing whatever he want to do, how he want to do it, when he want to do it. So we must stay on guard and stand on post, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to give us the spiritual eyesight that we need, Father God. Continue, Lord God, to give us that desire that we need, Father God. And continue, Lord God, to not allow anything that allows us to come upon us unaware, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that you give us these warnings, Lord God. 
So let your people take heed to the warnings and the lies, Lord God, that you have given them, Father God. Whether they have come through a vision or a dream or you allow somebody else to come to them, Lord God. Lord, you have spoke that word yourself, Lord God. Let them consider it, Father God. Ponder over it, reflect it, Father God. And then ask you, Father God, to help them in that thing, Lord God. Whatever it is, Lord. Oh God, I thank you in advance on tonight for what you're doing in our lives, God, what you're about to do, what's to come, Father God, even down the line, God. I thank you in advance, Father God, because I know that you are men of your word and that you're a promise keeper, Lord God. So continue to help your people to praise and worship you, Father God, in the midst of going through, Father God. Let their prayers be in their praise on tonight, Father God. Let them praise and worship you in spite of, Father God, and not allow that thing to turn away from you, God, but draw them closer to you on tonight, Father God. Oh God, we just want to bless you, Lord. We bless your name, God. Oh, Father, I ask you to continue to hear these prayers, Lord. Consider them and answer them, Father God. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen.